Abachosa Agomai Afonta Bassa Unagora, Nature, with those fire, I got your Nature. Was our family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without fairness. We are we encourage us to live our lives and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth. Knowing that it is our lives and personally, I encourage you to enjoy your life. It's very important. You know why I keep encouraging us to enjoy your life? Because you know what you've been through. You know what you've been through. And you know what is happening in your life. You know what you have suffered. The very question that will help you to begin to like reprogram your brain, you know, relieve your life how you're supposed to, is who was there to help you in your time of need? When you called, who answered? Be honest to yourself. If you are honest to yourself, nobody will defraud you. Nobody will deceive you. Nobody will mislead you. For example, uh, if you are honest to yourself and uh, somebody came up and tell you lies and begin to tell you maybe there is a God or there is bullshit and all that, you will just, you will just love that person to scorn because you know better. You know there is no God coming to do anything or coming to say anything, able to do or say anything, you know that yourself. So you, you, are, you are not fit to be a slave for, or to anyone because you know better. It's when you don't know, that's when you begin to fall for people's trick or that they come up with telling you bullshit uh, you are a spiritual being. The reason why you're suffering is because one, one spirit or one ancestor did so so thing. And, uh, you know why you are suffering. Why well, you know why you are suffering? If you can think well, it is easy. It is simple. You can know why you're suffering. Just be honest to yourself. Listen to yourself. Don't let them confuse you. They have confused you enough with uh, the bullshit your parents and guidance loaded you with from bed. Now you have grown, it's time to unlearn all those things, rely, relearn everything, and the, most importantly, go with factual truth. If it's not based on fact, don't accept it as truth. And every truth must be based on fast. If it's not based on fast, it's not permanent. So don't rely on it. Don't kill yourself about it. Don't say, oh, this is how it must be. This is the truth. This is no, it's not it's not based on fact. Well, now you find out the fact, then drop it. Don't go ahead and begin to argue blindly or begin to claim something you know you cannot prove. No, prove all things. Find out the real truth, the main truth about everything. Anyone that tells you that you can't know everything is a liar. You don't listen to such person. Anyone that tell you no, you cannot know all the other things. It's not everything you must know. It's not everything you must see. It's not everything. They are Limited people trying to limit you to. There is no limit to what you can know. And there is no limit to what you can do. But it's unfortunate that as slaves, they have taught us away from those, our truth. But our slavery condition is not permanent. We are 
waking up. Um, that we are waking up shouldn't make us deny fact. The fact is we are slaves. We are still under white people. We are still under their control. We don't know ourselves yet. We are not ourselves. So before you begin to claim all those things they want you to claim, first, be yourself. You say, oh, I, I have prosperity. I have peace. No, you don't. You have to be free first before you can have any of those things that you're supposed to have as a human being. But as slaves, you don't have them. Yeah, you may enjoy them. You may buy them, but you don't have them. You are not yourself. You are not free. They can take you out anytime they want. They can do anything they want to you. But personally, now, you know, individually free yourself. Trash all those spirituality. Trash all those religion. Trust all those believe, believe that. No, you need to know everything. You don't need to believe anything. Don't believe anything. The wisdom of your ancestors taught you to know yourself, not believe in yourself, not worship yourself. No, know yourself. When you know yourself, you will not need fear. You will not, you will not fear about what will happen to you in future or unknown. You will not have faith. You will not, you know, blind, accepting things blindly as fact or as truth. No, you will not need hope, you know, hoping like, I don't know what will happen. I hope for the better day ahead. I hope miracle will happen. Bullshit. No. Also, you will, you will see that you don't need love. You don't need all those fake feelings. I, I love you. I love you. I care. No. You will live a natural life and also you know you free yourself, you drop all those things called, that makes you humble or call humility. Oh, you have to be humble, stay humble. When you make it, be humble. Don't listen to that bullshit. All those things are what slave masters created, the chains that hold slaves in slavery. Fear, faith, hope, love, and the humility. Akise. <laughs> you say it's a lie. Akise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so I'm sharing with us what I thought to deal with liars. So, uh, you know, I'm, spoke, I'm speaking as a, as 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 woke Africans. So I'm I'm talking to woke Africans to show them how to deal with liars. Also, in the process, if you're a liar listening, you will see that we know how to deal with you, and uh, we are calling you to wake up. So you begin to speak the truth. When you are honest, that's the only way time you can speak the truth. You can't have fear of God and speak the truth. You can't have faith in God and speak the truth. You can't have hope in God and speak the truth. You can you can love God and speak the truth. And you cannot be humble and speak the truth because you are not yourself. It's when you are yourself, when you are honest, that's when you can speak truth, as I'm doing now. Okay, so dealing with them, with liars. These people are liars in wars. They are liars in prayers. They are liars in ideas. They are liars in their behaviors, in actions. Everything these people do, that lie is in there because they are believers. And in every belief, there must be a lie. You cannot have a belief without lie. It's impossible. For you to have a belief, you say you believe in God or you believe in yourself, or you believe in somebody or you believe in something, you must accept a lie. That's why you believe it. But when you accept the factual truth in it, then there's no lie. There's no, you don't need to believe. You know. Sin is not believing. Sin is knowing. You cannot unseen what you have seen. You cannot unknow what you have known. And you cannot prove what you believe. You cannot prove what you claim. But the truth, as somebody say, is like lion. You don't need to defend the truth. All you need to do, like a lion, release it. Let lion be lion. Let the truth be truth. Just as we are encouraging the, or calling the, on the taste to let their God speak. If their God is real, they don't need to speak for God. They don't need to fight for God. They don't need to tell people to believe in God. They don't need to do anything for that God. If that God is real. A God that is real is able to do things or say things himself or herself or itself. So I'm above God. I'm not God. So 
I not I cannot only do. I can only I can also give birth. No God can give birth. That's what makes human beings above God. Did you get that? So human beings are not gods and goddesses. They are both gods and goddesses because they can give birth. They can create things. They can do things. They can say things which no God can do. Mm. Who are liars? People who claim things they have not seen. They say, yeah, I've seen it. You see somebody saying, I know the God I serve. I know the God I, I believe in. I know whom I believe in. No, you don't. That's why you believe. In the day you know that God, you will stop believing. The liars, people who claim there is a God who created this world, people who claim that this world is a creation of a God, people who claim and insist when you just throw them some common sense question, they, 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 they reply with stupid question like, uh, then who created you? <laughs> I didn't tell you somebody created me. If you say God created me, then show me that God. I'm not the one that made that claim. I can never make that claim that a God created me. I know I was born and I have born also and I see people burning. You go to hospital, people burning, although before people used to burn at home. But today, they have made everything. You must go to hospital. Even it's like it's a law. <laughs> Say, what is wrong with people, man? Before, in every community, you see women like they are like uh, what do you, like midwives. Go, go into hospital to deliver. Some people, they pray, oh, I don't want my wife to deliver through operation. Because of what? They don't have money to pay for that. Natural things people are supposed to do naturally without saying, I want, I need money to do so, so things. They are now killing themselves to make money to be doing those things. Even to bury dead body, they are, they, you must have money to do that today. And these are the things people made up. It has nothing to do with nature. Oh, you must give me a befitting burial. You are stupid. Befitting what? Befitting what? Oh, you need any day you you you, you uh, your body confirm is no longer moving like that. Boom! They throw you back to earth. That's it. There's no spirit that left you. Nothing left. No, that's the body. Body tell you it's time for me to change. You go. Even if they kill the person, it's the same thing. With that kill, no matter the type of death you die, it's the same thing. And those of you that are happy that somebody died, or uh, maybe. Uh, you are not better than the dead. The living are not better than the dead. The dead are not living than uh, are not uh, uh, lesser than the living. This earth we are living in is the land of the living and the dead, and all of them are natural, not spiritual. Hmm. The liars, the call in creation is this world is a creation. God created this world. Oh, you say there is no God. How do these things come to existence? And if there is something, there must be a God behind it. It's a lie. There's no God behind your child. It was you and your wife or you and your husband that has sex. That's how that child came to being. Not any God. You did not create that child. Your wife did not create that child. Or your husband did not create that child. No living being. No living being is a creature. They are born living. That's why they are called being. Not be. Being. They continuously living. Also, they are the ones that say that God, you know, the Almighty One. There is Almighty One. There is Supreme Being. Think about it. Yeah, I know you respect educated people a lot. You call them the authority and all that. People in power and all that. But think, all those people that are telling you there's a higher force, there's a higher being, there's a supreme being, just ask them this or ask yourself, has any of them seen this higher being or higher force they're talking about? No. So what are they doing? They're passing down the same lie they pass to them. You see people saying spirituality. Spirituality is a lie. Passed down to you. It's like a meat passed down to you. Religion is a lie passed down to you. 
That's why they believe in all those higher force, blah, blah, blah. It's people that made up those law of my, my art, law of nature, law of universe. Law, it's people that made up all those bullshit. And you can make a better one. And that's what makes you a human being. That you inherited something from other human being doesn't mean you will die with it or in it when it's not even working for you anymore. Learn how to improve it. Learn how to eliminate it. How learn how to make a new one. Learn how to replace it. That's what makes you a human being to make it work better for you. The ancestors you're talking about, you inherited that from you are talking about yourself. Grow, grow in it. Mm. There's no such thing like Almighty God, Almighty One, Spring Being, uh, uh, Spring Force, uh, Higher Force. That, those things are what people made up. That's why they have those principles, those laws, those rules, those regulations. It's people that made up those things. It's not any God. There's no such thing as word of God, commandment of God, principle of God. If nature did not give you any law, you are the one making up all that. You were born to live. That's it. There's no purpose for living. There's no. There's no purpose for living. But if you say there is one, it's just for you to live, explore, and enjoy life. Not for you to come here. Whatever it is you are struggling to achieve. You will, uh, you will, you will just leave it behind again. You keep coming and going. It is here. There's nothing new that is going to happen. Nothing. So understand that there's no any Almighty. Oh, when you die, where will you spend your eternity? You, you will, you, you will give account. Give account for what? Give account to what? To who? Think about that. There's no person that will say, okay, I'm higher being, I give you this thing. It is people that tell you, no, there's higher being that give you life. You are a spirit, you're having a soul, and living in a body. Spirit and the soul is the same thing. And the body, <laughs> body, spirit and soul is the same thing. You can't separate them. They are not three different things. The body you are talking about is spirit. The body you are talking about is soul. There is no spirit in the body. There is no soul in the body. The, the body itself is powerful. But they taught you away because of spirituality and religion. They taught you all that bullshit you believe. Oh, the reason why you are dreaming is because there is spirit in you. No. The reason why you are dreaming is because you can see. You can feel things around. That's why you are dreaming. It's called wandering thoughts. It has nothing to do with any God talking to you or any ancestor talking to you. And if you believe there is ancestor talking to you, you are the one talking to yourself. Because you are the ancestors you are talking about. You see the liars claiming to have the knowledge of God. They even quote their book. Yeah, because that's where they teach them to know God. When you know their book, you know their God. <laughs> Of course, I know their God because I once, once uh, I was once a Christian, a minister of the gospel. So I know the book. Like in John chapter one verse eighteen, he said that no one has seen God at any time. Yes, somebody will say, "Yeah, somebody has seen God. I have seen God. God will reveal Himself to me." They will tell you, "You that is that, and one day God will reveal Himself to you." That's their last card. When they can't answer your common sense question, they say, God will show himself to you. God will say, no. Anything that have to reveal to me is bullshit. I need to see if he says it's real. Or anyone that has to reveal himself or herself to me is bullshit. It doesn't exist. Real people show up. They don't reveal themselves to a few people. And they, no, they show up. And if there is a place they are. When you go there, you see them there. But how about that God? No way. Then the same book that tell you that no one has seen God at any time, tell you that he, but he has a begotten son who was in his bosom. Not that who, was, who saw him. Nobody has seen God at any time. It, 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 it means both his wife, his, his, his mother, his father, his, his uh, children, his, his, his whatever. No one has seen God at any time. That's the fact in their book. 
Then they tell you that there has only begotten who was in his bosom. He has come to declare it. He did not say he has come to show him. Because if someone is real, you don't need someone else to show you the person. I'm be telling, I mean, telling you about the person. No, they show you the person. Not to reveal, like a reviewer coming to tell you about somebody. That person in his name is so, so, so. No. Now you say you know the person, right? Okay, then. The person is real. Let the person show up. Especially when they say this, this, this person is almighty. There's nothing that can hinder him. Nothing can stop him. He can go anywhere. He's everywhere. So if he's everywhere, why is it too hard for him to show himself to everyone? Then they tell you in First Timothy chapter 6, verse 16, he said that this idiot is dwelling in unapproachable light, which no man can approach. Yet you say that he, he someone comes from his bosom, no one can approach it. Then someone say they know God. No one can approach this God. Then they claim they know. So when you hear somebody, when you see somebody claiming to have the knowledge of God, that person is a liar. Either a born liar or a trained liar. How about them? They claim there, there is Jesus, or there was Jesus. Let me use the past tense, was, because that's what they used. When they talk about Jesus, they say, no, yeah, Jesus never existed, but there was Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Christ existed, it was Yeshua. No, Jesus never existed. Christ, every Christ is a mythological character. And there are 16 of them. Jesus is number 16, not number first, not maybe number 10, not maybe number 11 or number 7. Jesus is the last one. And how could, can the last one come now and become more than the rest? You see, the first shall become last, the last shall become first. Do you get that? Then it's like, it's like Muslims telling you that there's no God but Allah. At least you can trace the, the origin or the beginning of Islam or Mohammedian, Mohammedianism or, or, or about Muslim. You, can, you know when they started. Now there are several gods before Allah. And you're telling me now because Allah came up and you, you, they kill other people to establish it, or Jehovah came up and they kill other people to establish it, or Yahweh came out and they kill other people to establish it. Now that is the true one? That's bullshit. There's no God. Not to talk about the one true God. There's no God anywhere. It doesn't matter how you try to put it. Whether you claim you are the God, there's no God. You are, you, are, you, are, you are talking nonsense when you say you are God. Human being saying you are God, you are limiting yourself. You are saying you, you don't have brain. You are a fictional character. That's what you're saying. You are a myth. That's what you're saying. You are a, a fairy. That's what you're saying. You are denying yourself. And that's the only way you can believe in God and worship God, when you deny yourself. When you are yourself, you will never believe in any God. When you are yourself, you will never worship any God. They say yes, you know, it's Yeshua, not Jesus. Or they tell you, no, it's not white, it's black. It doesn't matter whether it's Yeshua or Jesus. Whether it's black or white, there has never been Yeshua. There has never been Jesus in human history as a person. Never. First Peter chapter 1, verse 8, he said, Jesus, who you have not seen, you love. Even Jesus, who you cannot see now, you believe. And they say you're rejoicing that you have been saved. <laughs> saved from what? Tell me one thing Jesus has saved you from. Nothing. The things they tell you Jesus saved you from, you're still doing it. People are still doing it. And some of you that are really genuine in that faith, you see how much you are praying to see the things happen, to see changes. It's not happening. How can you have change when you are a slave? Slaves don't never have change. No. Like Africans, same change, change. No matter how you change your, your leaders or whatever, you are not free. You are still slave. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you any better. It's like you are just like a grasshopper in the fire, bragging to produce, okay, I produce this new type of oil now. You are still burning in the fire.
Liars. Well, another lie they always tell is that black woman is God. No. A black woman is not God. A woman is not God. A man is not God. Human beings are not gods. A black woman is above God. A black woman is not a creator. A black woman is a human being. Okay? So and the, when you're, whenever you're talking about black woman, you must put black man there. You cannot separate black woman from black man. But that's one of the things people do with belief system. Separating nature. Black man and black woman goes together. Man and woman goes together. You cannot split them. The first human being is woman. You are lying. That's nonsense people made up. So speak what you know. If it's a claim, say it's a claim. If it's a belief, say it's a belief. But don't state your claims or your beliefs as fact. And they expect all of us to follow you in that your foolishness or your illusion. Remember the definition of illusion? Hmm? Misinterpretation of what is real. That's the definition of illusion. So you keep mis, mis oh, because oh my mother gave birth to me. She's my God. The first God I saw was my mother. No, it's not. Your mother is above God. Stop belittling your mother. Stop subjugating your mother. Okay. So black woman is not God. Black woman is woman. Period. Okay. Then another lie they tell you is about the principles and laws of nature. Nature did not nature did not give you any law or principle to follow. It is people who made them up. And you can make up better ones, as I say. Stop spiritualizing nature. Oh yeah, nature is God. No, nature is above God. Nature is not a creation. No. God is a creation. Nature is above God. Whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, nature is there doing its work just like you it doesn't matter where you are you are a human being you can live your life anywhere you find yourself you can oh another lie this liars pray how you know the liars they tell you man is god to man it's a lie man is not god talk less of being god to a man it's in slavery system you have such thing when you have slave master maltreating slaves, slaves depending on him to feed them, depending on him to pay them. That's wickedness. That's the evil system that we are in that has made us slaves, happy slaves, suffering and smiling slaves. <laughs> it's where I made it. I bought a new house. I married. I have children. I have this. But you are slave. You are slave. Oh yeah, no. All I'm doing, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm doing it for my children or my children's children. That's stupid things people always do. All of us are in this world. Say no, I, 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 I have these children so that when I'm older, they will take care of me. That's stupid idea, also a stupid thought. And that's why things are the way it is, especially among the slaves. So they are competing now to be better than this one. Oh, my children will be better than your children. And doing it, no, it, don't, it that's not how it's supposed to be. African have family structure before all this nonsense. They brought through slavery, marriage, and all that bullshit. People don't have kinsmen anymore. What they have is spiritual family. Uh, family is not by blood. It's by who was there when you... No, it's not. As I will start saying it, stop helping the poor unless they are your little children. Do you hear what I say? Stop giving or helping the poor, unless they are your little children. Think. Many of you that have brainwashed you so much, you think, oh yeah, yeah, humanity is helping one another. That's bullshit. Humanity is living with one another. That's what humanity is. Not some people depending on you and you working your ass off to take care of them when they are not your little children. You say, what do you mean? Things happen. Oh, we know those things happen. That's why our ancestors established family structure. There is no problem you will have that among your kinsmen, they will not solve it. 
But today, they made you throw away your kinsmen, throw away your African stuff, and you are taking their stuff as the real thing. Look at your head now. See how you're suffering. Your ancestors didn't even suffer like you. That's why they rose up and fought against what you are condoning today. They rather died than be slain. But you say no. That's why I say, don't worry. When you are dealing with these people, remember you're dealing with liars. They believe in God. They believe in heaven. They believe in hellfire. They believe in afterlife. They will go to heaven or have eternal life after death. And these are the people you want me to waste my time, argue with. I don't argue with them. I trust them. And that's why Facebook always block me, which I'm used to. It affects me, but don't worry about that. Another thing, another lies they spread, this blessing and the cause. They have crippled many lives with these empty words called blessing and the cause. Blessing from God, cause from God. Blessing from parents, cause from parents. Blessing from elders, cause from uh, elders, etc., etc. They are bullshit. Blessing is empty word. Cause is empty word. No one can bless you. No one can cause you as a human being. That's why they want you to believe. Because when you believe, guess what happens? You begin to be afraid. You cannot have faith without fear. They go together. You cannot separate them. Well, faith is absence of fear. It's a lie. It's a lie. When they, have faith, they, they make you believe, you begin to fear. That's why you believe in the first place. If they don't put that fear in it, you will never believe. You say, go sit down. Or you tell me to go sit down. You see what will happen to you. God will do, oh, blah, blah. You, your business will go down. This will happen. They try to create those things that will make you say, okay, to avoid, I don't want to go through all that. I don't want to suffer that. Okay, I believe. My younger brother, was it two days ago? So we were talking. He said, oh, he remember in, the, in, the, in those days in St. John's Anglican Church, you know, the, 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 the film about hellfire they did, the guy that was riding a bike, he got an accident, he's there, he cut off, he found himself in hellfire, he was suffering. You know how SEU people, born again people, use that film to invade all Igbo land and make us more stupid people, believing in nonsense, believing in Jesus. Even when the Americans was talking, we are talking about vampires in Igbo land. We were putting crosses on our doors, on our windows. Yeah, there's one vampire. Because we are slaves. It's whatever the slave master tells us is in book. That's what we go on doing. Even though it, don't, it doesn't affect us. Blessing, cursing. See people living in fear. That's why you must be doing stupid things your parents ask you to do. Or your religion asks you to do because you don't you want to be blessed, you don't want to be cursed. Oh no, they, they say I should not marry you. Well, if I marry you, they will not give me their blessing. Which blessing? Check all the marriages that I've been having in the name of God. They bless them in the churches and all that. You see how they are suffering in those marriages. They are lying to you if they said they are enjoying their marriage. There's no marriage where couple, the couple are enjoying it. No single marriage. Because marriage is slavery. They are pretending they are lying to you. And the reason they want you to come and join them. Because they need to crown. <laughs> all of us are suffering. Okay. Just the same way they believe all of us. We're worshiping God. We're going to heaven. Okay. That's why we're here. So if the crowd is not following me. No. I'm not saying the truth. It's where the crowd is. They go. Okay. Yeah. Fellowship. My fellowship. How are you doing? Welcome. The Lord asked me to tell you. Uh, the Lord sent me to tell you. It shall be well with you. The girl, blah, blah, will happen. <laughs> Encouraging themselves in their illusion. In their stupidity. Huh? Oh no, another lie. This lie has spread is about God. Spirit, soul in you. I, I, somebody made a post. I commented. I say no, there is no God. He said, no. God is the thing that sparked life in you. Nothing sparked life in anybody. You are the life you're talking about. You are born. You are life. You don't, life is not a gift. Nobody can give you life. You are life. You are the life. 
There's no God in you. There's no spirit in you. There's no soul in you. Once they get you to believe this nonsense that there is a being in you or a spirit soul in you, they have gotten you. What is in you is natural organs. You can even see them. Know their functions. You will begin to live better. No more believing the nonsense people are telling you, coupling it with fear, especially fear of the unknown. Think about it. even they tell you, oh God, you created God. I said, did you ask God to create you? No. So why is it bothering you now? What will happen when you die? Oh God, we do this. Uh, no. You are life. You are the life. Live your life. Oh, another lie. This lie has spread. How you know they are liars? They tell you the earth is corrupt. The earth is evil. Oh, this world is a wicked place. It's a lie. It's not. The nature can never be corrupt. Nature can never be corrupt. It's when you walk against nature, you become the corrupt one. Like the people that invaded Africans, they become the evil ones. That's how evil entered the world. We, those of you who say, how do the evil enter the world? There's no God, there's no devil anywhere. It is people who we are inferior, people who lack the things we had. They decided to invade us. That is evil. Invading other human beings is evil. And it makes you, you have to be evil to, to be carrying out evil, or unless they force you to carry it out as they first Africans, and that's what you're supposed to understand in Matthew chapter 23, verse 15. They were evil, then they come and converted you, you become worse than them in evil doing. You see, when you see Africans or black people behaving the way they are behaving today, they are not themselves. They are behaving the way the slave masters converted them to behaving. Oh, Africans don't love themselves, you are stupid. Africans don't help themselves, you are stupid. You don't know Africa. You don't know Africans. Africans, no, Africans were the ones that welcome, they didn't have any visa, uh, require any visa for you to come to their land. They didn't build any, any boundary. Oh, you, you can't cross here. That's natural way of living. They were living naturally until evil people came and corrupted them. Today you see Africans are certain, yeah, kingship. We are kings and kings before. No, you, we are not. We are both kingship. We are both gods and goddesses. We are both all this nonsense they force on us. And many of you are accepting it as our culture and tradition is not. We are both cultures. We are both traditions. We are both civilizations. That's why we, we created them. You are both whatever you invented. You are both whatever you, you created. Stop belittling yourself thinking, oh, you are what you created. No, you're not. You are both it. You created God you are, because you are both God. The earth is not corrupt. The earth is not evil. It is people through their illusions vilifying natural things for spirituality or religion. Because they, you don't, they don't do what you want them to do as, as your spirituality or, or religion believe. The world is evil. I met a native daughter. I said, you say you have this. Well, okay, look at our land. What is going on? Why can't you people? They say, no, people will love money. People are worshipping money. Blah, blah. And so, people are worshipping money. But you say there is God. So where, where is this God? The people that you say that are worshipping money are also the people that are worshipping God. And you that say that God chose you, God called you, God is using you, there's no changes in our land. Don't you see that it is bullshit? You are practicing. Our people wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time you begin to try, throw away all those illusions. Those things are the things that make you vilify your fellow human being, vilify nature, vilify the world. Oh, this world is a nonsense place. This life is not balanced. Bullshit. No, that's nonsense they want you to believe. And such thing limits you. Anything that have to do with spirituality, religion, God, or there's a spiritual world, it limits you. 
it limits you, it makes you, you're not, you are not yourself, and you begin to talk nonsense, even against yourself. How about this one? They tell you that um, um, Africans or black people are enemies of themselves or haters of themselves, as I mentioned earlier. No, they are not enemies of themselves. They are not haters of themselves. They are slaves. What do you expect? These people are striving to survive at least. The people that used to be inventors are now struggling to just feed themselves. The people that used to have everything in quantity, does in abundance, without lack, without want, today they are hustling. So that's why you see they gave them God and the money. And these two things is what is keeping them still in that slavery. They don't talk about freedom. They're not talking about prosperity. They're not talking about freedom. They're talking about spirituality or heaven or spiritual world. They're not talking about their freedom. No. Even those they call their um, uh, revolutionaries or uh, freedom fighters, look at them. They still believe in God. <laughs> so you can't believe in God and fight for freedom and have freedom. No, you can't. And that is like me. Now you tell me to, oh, let's be with the No, let them work out first. They don't need movement. They don't need group. They need to work out first. I don't mean stop uh, going to church. I don't mean stop uh, believing bullshit. No, I mean free yourself, freedom. Free yourself first. Wake up. I mean, wake up first. Wake up, wake up. Know yourself. When you know yourself, you wouldn't need spirituality. We need religion. Because all you need is knowledge. With knowledge, you can do what you're supposed to do and you can say what you're supposed to say. Knowledge is strength, not any God, not any devil. So, another lie which I've had many educated people, especially in Christianity, especially in Christianity, they believe that black people or Africans were selling themselves before the Arabs and the Europeans came, which is a lie. There was no trace of slavery in Africa before foreign contact. Before Arabs, Arabs enslaved Africans first, before the Europeans. So Europeans learned how to enslave Africans from the Arabs. Yet, it's true. Arabs, in certain way, they adopted most things of African culture than the Europeans. Because the Arabs were, were coming in like they came and kill our men, rape our women, and begin to take the land, possess it. That's why they claim our land today, call Middle East. You see, the Egyptians, you see today, they, that's the Egyptians, they are invaders. But the real Egypt, uh, uh, Egyptians are ancient Egyptians, Africans, blacks, ancient Egyptians. There's difference between ancient Egyptians and the Egyptians. We are not the Egyptians. We are the ancient Egyptians, Africans, ancient Africans. So uh, understand the difference and you will know that Africans were not selling themselves before white people or the outsiders came because if they were doing that, they would also they would have done that also to those uh, foreigners. They never. We had no prison before they came. We had no senior home before, before they came. We had no army before they, what is the work of the army? Is to invade other people, take their land, rape their women and all, take their resources. And all. That's the work of the army. We don't have, we didn't have army. We have opened everything. That's why we, are, we welcome the Greeks. They came to learn from us. We welcome to Arabs. They came to uh, buy from us. But they turn and become our enemies because they decided to be evil against nature. They decided to work against nature. Instead of them to come and live with us and enjoy with us, they came to steal, to kill, and destroy. They are the thieves. Africans need to know the true history of Africa. 
stop justifying slavery. Slavery has no connection with Africans. Slavery is strange to Africa. And Africans were not selling themselves as slaves among them before the Arabs and the Europeans came. Stop believing the liars and stop promoting their lies. Africans are the only original people, natural people in this world. We share no DNA with any other human being. We are different. We are one with the universe, with nature. And that's why we gave the word university because the universe, we are teaching us, we are learning the universe. We sit down and learn things. Today, we, are no, we don't even have time to sit down to learn anything. All we are thinking about is how to worship God or how to make money. They gave us God and money. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Tools for slavery. Then, the, then another thing they do is this, especially among the um, Christians, African Christians. They will tell you that the Europeans or Christianity brought civilization to Africa. Well, what are you saying? If not for white people, you will have a, 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 a wet high road. If not for um, uh, Europeans, you will have electricity. <laughs> That's a stupid thing to say. Africans, we had all those things. Even in the antiquity, before they, they, they come into maybe existence, before they had their whatever, we have been in existence for millions of years before they came to the same. Now they are the one that brought civilization to you. No, we taught them how to bet, how to wash, wash with soap. We taught them. We were having running water through the fossils before them. We were building houses with doors and windows before them. They were living in the cave. We were do domesticating animals. You never heard when even Africans use animals for war, like elephant, like tigers, lions. We train them. Instead of us going to war and they be done like that, remember they brought war to us and we use even nature to deal with them. Look at how Haitians defeated the uh, Europeans. Because we are the original, we can take anything and make it so magnificent or the way we wanted that, it will blow any other people's mind. You say, how do they come up with this? What did I tell you last time? I tell you, the weapons that Africans will use to defeat all this Arab and Europeans nonsense against us and they reestablish ourselves, that weapon it has not been built. They will wonder how did they make it? Just as they're still wondering, how we make this, the, the pyramids, how we make the Sphinx. Till today, but many of us, because they taught us away from that. And you think you were born to be born in children. That's what no. That's why you're supposed to know that we are we are that urban jail like that. Like people that came out, oh no, 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 this is not the world I supposed to be in. I'd rather go die and come back again. I will keep dying and coming, keep dying and coming until I'm born into that world where we will stand up and restore ourselves and recover our heritage. It is happening. I want you to also know that everyone in Abrahamic religion is a liar. You say you believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are a liar. No matter how good you say you are, no matter how nice you say you are, so long you are in Abrahamic religion, you are a liar. And you will be teaching your children that lie. That's why you keep lingering, you keep going. These people in Abrahamic religion always seeing and hearing the fast, but unable to know the truth. They don't learn from what they see, what they hear around them. They don't learn. It keep repeating because they are people of fear. They are people of faith. They are people of hope. They are people of love. They are people of humility. They are not themselves. They are slaves. So they have to keep passing down the lie. The slave master required them to be passing down to their offspring. You see them speaking and acting. 
lies against the truth. They are speaking and acting or behaving or living the lies against the truth for their illusion, for their delusion, for their hallucination. That's why you see them become dogs. You see them become pigs. You see them become scorpions against you when you tell them the truth, even using their own very book to show them. Say, shut up. Believe what you believe. Leave me on my own. Leave me alone. You are evil. You are devil. Blah, blah, blah. It will happen to you. Dealing with liars requires constant dropping of the knowledge uh, of the factual truth, the knowledge of factual truth. You must do that constantly. And also do not be moved, do not be perturbed by their rants and threats. There's nothing they or their God can do to you. They cannot end your life. Your life is eternal. They, they killing you is doing you a favor. You're supposed to know that death is opening to a new life. That's what death is all about. Just like birth is, is still life, but it's a new level in life, new experience in life. You keep having it. You keep having it. There's no limitation. There's no limit to what you can know. There's no limit to what you can do. Human beings. Let us wake up, Africans. Let us trash all this bullshit, the liars and, the, and their lies. We have to trash them and begin to live humanly. Trash God, trash belief system, trash anything or everything that requires fear, faith, hope, love, and the humility. Trash them. And they only embrace what requires knowledge. Because when you know, you have better chance to do. And when you do what you know, you must have success. Pardon me.